I did not have to listen to anything today. I could have simply dismissed it in the first two minutes I was out here because you haven't given me a verified complaint or an affidavit, but I didn't do that. You're 100% I allowed right. you to Thank express you. your arguments. Your arguments are more based in speculation and innuendo. You do have reports. It is clearly a political issue in the town. It's an issue that the courts do not wade into. You are, have the absolute right to express your opinions come election day in November. That's what the ballot's about. No one is taking that away from the citizens of West New York. There's nothing demonstrated to me under verified testimony that there was anything improper about the resolution. The county clerk has accepted the resolution. The Board of Education has accepted the resolution. The statute, while it does mention the third Thursday, the third Tuesday of April, is clearly affected by the commissioner's decision to change the election day. Had the election day not been changed, I would agree wholeheartedly with your argument that it did not match the 60-day notice. Because I too believe in strict statutory construction, except when my Supreme Court tells me that in election matters, one needs to look at the fairness and the purpose of the statute. Okay, There's no right. dispute, I'm giving my I'm decision, sorry. you're done. There's no dispute that the fairness of the statute indicates that this notice requirement was to be given to the county clerk 60 days before the election day. The term third Tuesday of April is synonymous with the election day for boards of education in the state of New Jersey. The county clerk has indicated by their submission by council that they found the resolution to be in order, they found it met the 60 day provision, and they in fact accepted it and therefore moved the election in West New York to November. No one was on notice otherwise. No petitions have been filed. There's no way an election could occur in April. So the application for those reasons at this time is denied. With regard to the conflict, the council correctly points out that it's a remote conflict. Nothing has been provided to the court by way of any type of sworn affidavit, certification, etc., that this vote would in somehow inure to the benefit of the commissioners as set forth in the opposition papers. So for all of those reasons, the order to show cause seeking a preliminary injunction precluding a change of the date of the Board of Education election is hereby denied.